Hello there people and welcome to episode 15 of the Blu-ray Update show and we're in for a merry merry Christmassy one as well um, sadly I have no hat, no decorations whatsoever I've been really kind of busy with work and all that and other stuff but I do have Christmas movies for you in fact Christmas Blu-ray movies Ooh, big stack of them I think I count seven Quite a lot. Um, I've got a mixture of modern day classics and also old, um, very old school classics. Um, so I was trying to quickly bash through these as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first one is really kind of technically not a Christmas movie. Uh, it's kind of like an all season movie, but kind of has that kind of Christmassy feel to it in a way, and that is. Rise of the Guardians. Now, if you've seen my review for that, oh, sorry for the light now. If you've seen my review for this, uh, I completely loved it. Um, I felt it was more kind of oriented to teenagers. Um, still really like it. Still really, really awesome. Um, I really, I think the cast on it was fantastic. Really good kind of story. And like I said, it's a kind of a seasonal kind of film, but it just feels like a Christmas movie, which kind of like. Seen that, and that's kind of like that's all it's kind of like seeing like also Die Hard as a Christmas movie where technically it's not, but to a lot, but quite to a few people there, it kind of is a Christmas movie because it's certain Christmas, and that's a whole argument for another time, maybe another year. But this to me was really good, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The next one is practically, I think, actually, my mum's favourite film is Miracle on 34th Street. and Yes, this is more of the uh, this was the sort of like updated one which has that child star who you know did Matilda and some others sort of uh, missed out fire. What the hell happened? What the hell happened to her? No idea. But this is actually a real classic. I still this watched it recently. Still really good. Gives me the goosebumps of Christmas and yeah really really good. Actually I thought this film was a lot older than it is actually not really that old. Now the next two I'm going to show are I have a wee kind of like problem with but they're still classics I still love them. And the first one is Jingle All The Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes this is kind of like a Christmas comedy. I will say I still love this film it's fun it's funny as hell it's really good. My problem is however is it jumps the shark a couple of times but really jumps the shark when it comes to that, um, what is that? The first, kind of like the third act where he's on that street parade sort of thing. I felt that really shouldn't really be in it. Look, it sets the tone, sets the tone for the whole movie quite differently. Kind of turns it into a kind of a wee action kind of film, which I really didn't sort of like. I hated that part of the film. I wish it was just done a little different, uh, different. Um, and believe it or not, this actually has an after credits scene which I was very kind of surprised I was just I left the credits rolling and then there was an after credits scene which who knew but yeah um, I still like it but just that the third act part really just didn't like. Now the next one I said I have a little bit of a problem with and that one is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now yes interesting known fact however Tim Burton did not direct this film which is very surprising because you would think Tim Burton would direct this film. It is a Tim Burton film, but he did not direct it. Kind of the same way of The Empire Strikes Back is not directed by George Lucas, even though it's people may think that is. The problem I have with this, however, is it's a classic film through and through. No question to that whatsoever. But it has badly aged, uh, especially on the Blu-ray. It's terribly aged. Um, I feel this is a film that needs redone, like remade, just kind of like just a more mod update modern kind of feel. Have like still kind of like have like the same songs, maybe I add maybe a couple additional ones, but it's very kind of old, very it's very dated in a way, and that's kind of like only gripe I have with it for in terms of blurry. But as film wise, I utterly love it. Now the next one is an utter utter classic and I wish my parents you know left me uh, uh, in the house by myself because I wanted to reenact everything in this film and that is 
home alone. Oh my god, now, the, the, the two best ones are this one and the second one. Me personally, I like the second one because it just, it feels right, like, New York is great, you know, bigger, better traps and whatnot, but it just never felt home alone, just felt home alone, you know, different location and whatnot. I love this one, this was the original, this is the, you know, better one. This one is actually, was done in like 1991, which I thought was actually quite weird, um, but I utterly love this. I remember watching this as a kid over and over again, and like I said, I wish I was left alone so I can set traps up, even if it was <laughs> for my parents. Um, really, really kind of good, and I really love it. Now, the last two I have are ones that I have never seen, could have seen before until this year. And the first one is Tom Hanks uh, Polar Express. Now, this was kind of this film kind of came out around the time where like um, computer animation sort of films were starting to become quite popular. And one thing I'll say is the, the animation is fantastic, but it is quite slightly dated in a way because uh, you, you you can kind of really tell that they try to be kind of like as realistic as they can while being an, an, an animation sort of standpoint but this is really really good, it has a really good strong message and yeah, really really loved it and then the last one is, I think it's probably the like the best kind of modern classic um, Christmas film sort of this that I've seen so far and that is R for Christmas by god I was blown away by this film uh, this is really really good, kind of like takes kind of like spin off the whole Santa mythology in a way and the fact that there was like each Santa is not the same Santa so and it has a really good strong message behind it um, like the meaning of Christmas and all of that um, sort of jazz really loved it um, so fantastic really good kind of like modern kind of like sort of twist on the tail and kind of like really set for like modern day because um, like a lot of Christmas movies kind of still try to set on the past this one sets more on the present, and yeah, I just utterly love it. And that's all that it's sort of done. As I said, I tried to get that done as quickly as possible. Probably won't be another Blu-ray update until the new year. Might change the format just a little bit in this, and um, realising that I can't really afford buying Blu-rays as much. Might just limit it down to a few, but other than that, Normally I'd ask what kind of blues you'd want me to see or pick up, but what I'm going to ask you is what is your favourite Christmas movie of all time? Like, the Christmas movie that you have to watch on Christmas Day, no matter what. Like to know, I personally don't know because there's so many, but if I had to really guess, it probably would be Home Alone. Home Alone is just really one of the best Christmas movies ever made. Utterly love it, fantastic. Uh, but what is yours? Let me know. And if you like this video, then give it a wee sort of like and rate, comment, and subscribe if you feel free. I will see you, sort of guys, later and hopefully in the new year, new Blu rays, new ideas. See you guys then.